it's your man, the Dark Rifle. Today I'm bringing you my top five best builds in the division. So first I'm going to tell you what the gear sets are, then I'm going to tell you why I chose these gear sets. So first I chose Deadeye for fifth place, and then I chose Deadeye because it provides a lot for the team. Like if you're back sniping and if you can get a one shot build, that would be great, but I don't personally use this build. Um, in that fourth place, I chose Alpha Bridge because the two-piece bonus gives you 100% health regeneration. Three-piece bonus gives you 5% weapon damage. Four-piece bonus grants you ability to unlock all the unique active active talents with no unlock requirements. So this means that if you have two of the same assault rifle assault rifles. Uh, it doesn't have to be the same, so it'll just be in a sort of category. Whatever all the talents are, you unlock all of them. But the four, but the third talent from each of the guns go to the other, go to the other weapon. Okay, now for third place, I chose three piece tactician authority with two reclaimer because the two piece reclaimer gives you plus thirty percent for support station range. Two piece tag gives you fifty percent skill haste, and you really want to have skill haste for this build because you want to provide provide as much heals as you can for your team. And I chose three piece tag, but a three piece tag gives you ten percent skill power. The reason I chose this, these to combine these gear sets are because they add a lot of survivability to your team. You can keep giving out heals, and your box can be bigger and bigger. It doesn't matter what you use. You can use support station healing speed or support station range. Um, just try to be the best healer you can for your team and just hope y'all can do better from here. Okay, now for second place, I chose Striker's Battle Gear because the two piece bonus gives you additional 20% stability on all your weapons, and the three piece bonus gives you 10% enemy armor damage or add 10% enemy armor damage. And the four piece bonus allows you to stack consecutive hits to that deal 1% more every time you stack and you can add up to 100%. Missing shots can drop you 2% and it reduces 1% every second if you don't hit a shot on someone. The reason I enjoy this build is because I have surprisingly good accuracy on console and I use the MP7. It's, it's so brutal to other people. They literally hate it because the shots stack up so fast that you just melt a person basically one clip and some people prefer to have the shotgun on this build but honestly I'm not a shotgun fan because I don't like to keep auto aiming on to people with my shotgun and it's really hard for me for some reason but with the MP7 and the assault rifle I have really good dot and accuracy okay now for the first place build is any kind of hybrid build and a lot of people would debate that this is one of the best builds in the game because it gives you the ability to survive a long time it has a lot of survivability and versatility because within a group you can give out heals if your heals are high and you can have a decently good pulse and you can pulse other people pulse other agents to um, help your team out and whether you have three p's three p's like banshee high end and three p's tactician high end three p's predator whatever you have is honestly gonna be a good build and if, if you stack into skill power I would not use a tech, I would not use a hybrid build if it didn't have a lot of skill power. That's just me personally, because I want my skill haste to be the minimum. I want I mean the maximum, I want it to be 50%. And I want my all my skills to come down at the minimum time as possible. So like 18 seconds on heals, that's like the best heals you can get. And if you can keep additional seals off for your team, it's really good. And most people also would debate that the healer build and a hybrid build will be at the same spot because they both add a lot of survivability to the team because both can give out decently good heals here, there, heals everywhere. But like in my opinion, I think healing is obviously not the best build because it's not in first. But hybrid build deals a lot of damage and it can stay alive so long because the heals come back so fast. And if you're using pulse, you can pulse someone and all you need is crit hit chance. Crit hit chance. And you're just gonna dominate. I hope you guys and girls enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And you know how we always always end these videos. Let's get it. Let's rock.